box, shall we? And uh, have a word with Glenn Hoddle and with Guy Mowbray, who was here for that Chelsea game, of course. Compliments of the season to you, Guy. Thank you, Jim. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Boxing Day. Um, an eerie, unpleasant feeling at times here on Sunday, and certainly the first time that I've heard repeated announcements to inform that racism is having an effect on the game, and please let it be the last. Um, I should stress Spurs' own investigations are ongoing, and that the repeated announcements were only related to the one allegation, all part of the protocol that was used on the day. And in response to that, the Premier League have reissued their own protocols to follow if any abuse is heard, and I guess the ultimate extension of that is that the game will be halted and then possibly abandoned. Spurs will instructed their stewards, and I'm sure all clubs will have done the same, to be on heightened alert, but ultimately responsibility has to lie with individuals, doesn't it? And it simply beggars belief that it happens, it's happened, and that it could happen again. So please, no, we don't want any repeat of that. On to the day, on to the game, which is what we want to talk about. I know it's what Glenn wants to talk about. We've seen the, the lineups that have been announced today, and Spurs have gone with two changes, but the same formation, we think. Bright five changes. Um, what's your reaction to the team news today, Glenn? Well, I'm surprised that... Uh... Uh, Jose hasn't uh, brought a little bit more of a change here, but I think he's got one eye on the third match over the holidays, which will be away at uh, Norwich. I think you'll see changes there, so I think he wants to have a little look at that team almost the same. I'm pleased to see Winks come in. I think Harry Winks in that central midfield. Spurs are struggling to get through the pitch, passing. They're playing a little bit more direct under Jose, and I think uh, Winks will give them that ball that will get, get them through the pitch easier and quicker. As for Brighton, you know, Guy, you know, I think they've come here, looked at Chelsea, the way they came with wing-backs and caused Tottenham all sorts of problems. I think Graham Potter's really looking at that as, and, and going to play a similar shape. And it's up to Tottenham to sort that out. They were caught napping for half an hour. They didn't know what to do in that first half hour against Chelsea. Uh, they caught them out a little bit. So um, I'm sure they had a little bit of time to put that right at the training ground and talking and showing the videos. But it looks like uh, Brighton will come here with lots of players behind the ball and try and break on Tottenham. Five changes. How times have changed. 1980, Glenn's Tottenham played against Southampton, drew 4-4 on Boxing Day. The day after, he scored in a 2-2 draw at Norwich. Keith Berkinshaw made one change. Indeed, I'm back.